everybody, welcome to Crown Pitch Royal. Today we're back with EXP GDC external graphics card adapter for my... Oh, hello, my shadow. Um, well, this is my current configuration that I'm using for... Well, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, well, I use it a lot for when I go... When I'm right like abroad or when I go somewhere, like to a LAN party that happened and I get it to school all the time. Well, the thing is, it, from the, since the recent video, it packs a i7 2670QM, which is a 4 cores, 8 threads CPU at 2.5 GHz, and it doesn't really overheat, does it? Like 70 Celsius. Eh? It's pretty hot, though, but come on, it used to be way worse. So, for my external graphics card, I am using a. You can come up here. Now that we've done it once, I believe we can do it again. A GTX 670 Power Edition from MSI, which is a quite old, and I can't close it now. Well, that's that's a feature, uh, not a bug. So, what do you want to know? Of course, you want to know many things. How much does it cost me? How does it perform? Well, we'll find out, shall we? Let's start with Doom. So, you can you can go a bit higher so you can actually see something. You know? So let's see how it performs, right? I don't think there's a freaking FPS counter because it doesn't work in this computer for some reason. Uh, so, as you can see, it's pretty smooth though. I should probably show the settings. Well, the thing is that this graphics card is a 2 gigabyte version, so it is bottlenecked by that, but it can handle way more than that. As you can see, medium at 1366 by 786 at 70 hertz, I believe. So, how does it work? A bit higher, yeah, you can hold the ladder. Okay, great. So, as you can see, it's really smooth though, gotta say that. Kind of similar to my game on my PC though. Well, performs rather smooth. But we'll get to different to other games. So I have plans to play to test out the Rise of the Tomb Raider, which we'll do. Oh, I just switched that. Rise of the Tomb Raider, some freaking space engineers, obviously. Then we have what Prey, maybe. Not sure if I have it on the drive. Then Team Fortress, we can try that. Uh, what are the games? Counter Strike, if I still have it. I'm, I'm not sure. Doom Tree, no. Dirt 3, um, and many other games, we'll, we'll just figure it out later on. So, as you can see, great frames per second, I mean, great, great frames, just no stutter whatsoever. But it takes forever to load the game, so that's, that's the downside. You get the point, now let's get to different games, shall we? Oh, we can, we can actually look at the temperatures, meanwhile. Since the, we can see all the maximum Maximums right here. So this is for the CPU. You can see all the eight cores. I mean four cores at 70s That's quite good for a laptop. I gotta say now thermal trolling nothing Yes, very really good. Uh, now no thermal trolling whatsoever graphics card Go down a little bit more. Thank you. So graphics card at 61 Celsius in this case, which is oh We'll have to open. That's why it's so low can you hold this shit straight, bro, please? Bro, I'm holding it straight right now. Look, this Nick, I bought that camera on the screen, but I'm not going to the mic. I'm not going to the mic as a screen. Sound cool, sound cool, sound cool. Okay, okay bro, okay, bro. Okay, so I'm not going to lock it. Good to me. Okay, so we're in the game right now, and because of the CPU limitations, we actually have a pretty bad frame rate. And we're hovering at, at, hovering at 31 frames. You can zoom this in a little bit. 31, and this is pretty much us. Uh, the most, I mean, the highest it can get, but the play, the gameplay is pretty good though. So, um, as I've tried the last time, it can handle up to four cars at once. The fifth one gets a bit laggy afterwards, but it works. And if you're asking why yourselves why I haven't crashed yet, is because this car is shit. And I'll crash myself real quick. That was so not intentional. So this is being Drive, right. You saw, you saw that one. Now we'll get to what? So, oh, the little comes right. Crap. Um, we'll get to the tree. This one has a benchmark in it, which should, um, well, help us a little bit. 
you. Yep. So what? It's fine. It's fine. Did it launch? It's launched. Sure. Well, so the graphics car, uh, graphics settings are high, 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 and shit like that. And let's run this real quick. I think by doing this benchmark, we should get a good representation of how this machine performs. Did the graphics driver just crash? And it's completely possible that that just happened. I think that they can notice the game's frozen, you know? Um, yeah, that froze. Um, well, as you can see on the left side, we still have a mouse moving, so that's fine. Oh, the temperatures, of course. You see 72, 73. And the graphics card's 62. That's good. Oh, now we got, we're going black. Oh, crashed. I'll crash real quick. So let's go. So we're back and let's run the freaking a benchmark. Oh, well, the settings are really just normal, uh, set to normal at uh, the laptop resolution 70 hertz because this lap uh, the screen supports 70 hertz, as you can see. Oh, um, yeah. So, really just normal settings. Uh, MSA A times 4, no resync and. So frame rate, you see, oh, we have a frame counter now here, uh, 70 frames at normal settings, 90 frames on the laptop, 212 laptop. So as we're waiting for this to load, you can obviously see the, the CPU is not even doing much, just hovering about 50%, GPU hanging at 50 Celsius. As well, we don't see no thermal um, freaking trolling whatsoever. Again, 60s, 70s. I should have put it to, to like high. Forty-eight, fifty. Here we are with space engineers. As you can see, my 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 world is quite full of right, rather shit than anything else. So if we go to an, an entity list, we can see a lot of grids, either small or big, placed in the world. As you can see, forty to thirty frames. It's actually playable, but the main thing is in space engineers, especially, is really the simulation speed, which you can see is quite stable. Um, so looking at the settings, we can see that the game is running at low setting. Into my base real quick. You can see it's quite stable. We'll take thing and see how fast it renders stuff, shall we? Okay, this is not much of a plane, but come on. So as you can see, we have the speed limit off, which means we can go up to one kilometer. 1000 meters per second and that can be quite of a challenge for a computer to render all the terrain in such a short time so we might crash right here but come on you can see 70s no we hit a hundred right there oh shit we hit a freaking mountain oh no no <laughs> no we'll crash real quick you can see the speed 600 meters per second into the freaking ground and we crashed obviously even that didn't lag, as you might, as you might have noticed. The only lag you saw right here is Space Engineer 
engine and that's really it hundreds of, hundreds of frames on the planet come on now that's freaking awesome isn't it so we're back at Rainbow Six Siege. You can see Operation Chimera. Is it the way you say it? Chimera. Sh Sh Chimera. Chi Chi <laughs> Display, we can see 1080. At 60 hertz for some reason. Okay. Um, we sync off. I feel the view 60 there. Um, graphics, so we have very high as uh, some filtering at 16, ultra high, and some pretty high settings, right? So let's do a bench. The gigabytes past the limit, so <laughs> medium. So let's go medium. Oh, and we, we can see that we're obviously in between the bounds. And let's get this going, shall we? When So this is a fail, obviously, and those are the real benchmarks that, well, were actually captured like uh, two weeks ago. And here are the results. Uh, you can. This is a long time ago, though. But it, I, as you can see, it. I have no clue what settings I ran this on. But clearly, I've done something wrong. I don't know what. Well. This is unplayable, isn't it? And we'll just load the game into the, the latest save, which is, I think, this one. I don't know. So, as you can see, it either lagged because we're almost in the game or because we're supposed to crash real quick. So, that's normal. Yeah, that's normal. Oh, this wrong, wrong button. As you can see, when it loads everything in, we get 60 frames, and that's because we have Wisync on right now. That is what I know. I know for sure that we have Wisync on. So, medium settings, or even high, I think. And this runs really well. And even, even the details. At 1080, do, do you consider this playable? Oh, look, cat. Can we kick, kick that cat? Cat. So, this is really not a demanding scene, but still. So, we're back at the, well, Tomb Raider. And as you can see on the left side, we don't have a frame rate count. Well, did this match just get back?
for hardware first. Let's remove this thing real quick. So, how is this built? For comparison, well, I don't have the box on here, but the second, the last box was really big. Gotta say that. We should probably just first disconnect this. So, as you can see, I've actually packed it all together. You see the graphics card link right here. Actually, let's get to that first. So, uh, my, my battery died, so I actually took it out of the case and used the case so I can like store the, the cable inside and it's nice and clean, kind of. The cable is now routed through the case, has uh, made a few holes, I think you, can, you might see them, from here to, the, to, to this chamber here and I think it's more convenient than before. So we can move this and now let's get to the box, shall we? So first things first, as you can see, here we have my power supply for the C the, for the laptop and the screen. Uh, the, the screen the, it's not using the this power supply for the screen because, well, this is the board for the screen. Okay, now I burnt one already trying to power it from this power supply, which was well not really intentional, but I just happened. So here's a separate one, it doesn't really bother me, so, you know. And here's a 65 watt power supply, which is complete overkill, but it's so shit that it doesn't even, well, it's probably not even 650, but, come on. So, let's get to the interior, so. First thing you can see right here is a small HDMI port, or oh, well, a regular one. A hole for breaking power, and that's because the cables are too long, so I don't, I don't have to make a hole or... Anything. So, open it up, really simple. Now I have some dust filters around here, uh, quite useful. Now the graphics card. So I can remove it by, well, putting this here and pushing it back and simply taking it out. Now first remove the power connectors, see my DIY cable, which is completely safe though, so we should do that at home, obviously. Graphics card, well, as I mentioned, GTX 670, I'll put it right here so it doesn't flip. Here's the GDC thingy, a small, uh, quite small, you can take it out of your case, but still. So here's the, the small splitter that I have to use, well it's just so that the power supply turns on when the laptop turns on. Now here's basically my separator, from the, which separates the graphics card from the, well, the metal power supply, which would be quite bad I guess. Now the cables are well. Wrapping somehow. Oh, come on, look at up, up here. You can see that I didn't cut much of them. I mean, I cut loads of the cables away because I didn't need uh, well one pin for the CPU and the other for the GPUs. As you can see, this has been cut down, so it's actually twice as small as before, so it can fit inside here. Now the fan has been mounted on, on the side, here we have a small plug, and from this plug it actually goes then to this power supply and from the power supply to this cable and this cable, which will as well cut down a little bit so it makes it more yeah, compact. Now we have a fan here just to make sure that it well, sucks the air out from the case. Behind it, from from behind of the graphics card to make sure that it doesn't overheat on behind and doesn't burn up or something. And we have a few holes right here, which are pretty useful. But I uh, guess that's really it. There, everything there is for this case, though. So I would like to put it together, but there's absolutely no time, so we cannot do that. Well, I think that's pretty much it. Well, the thing that now, how much did this, did this thing cost? So the graphics card, it cost me 19 euros, this little thing cost me 45 on sale, which was quite some time ago. As you've seen, most temperatures stay pretty nominal and uh, stable at all times, especially the CPU. Uh, well, this has been a rework of my EXP GDC laptop portable gaming station or whatever you want to call it thank you for tuning in that's it guys thanks for watching goodbye